This video is going to show you about one of the new moderation features launched in Google Meet. This feature is called Quick Access. You can find Quick Access by clicking on the blue shield icon in the bottom left corner. That's all the host controls. And Quick Access is the one on top. Um, by default, this will be turned on, making it easy for people to enter your meeting. Uh, but when Quick Access is on, participants do not need to knock to request to join the meeting. When Quick Access is on, participants in the same domain as the host do not need to knock to request to join the meeting. This means that anyone with an at pvusd.net email address will be automatically able to join your meeting without asking. When Quick Access is on, Participants joining by phone do not need to knock to request to join the meeting. This means anyone dialing into your meeting will not need to request to join. However, keep in mind that our district has currently turned off the joining by phone option. Um, finally, when quick access is on, as it is here, participants can dial out from within the meeting. That means that your students are able to go to people and add people by phone. So your students would be able to do that when quick access is on. For many reasons, you might want to turn quick access off. When quick access is off, all users, including those in the PVUSD domain, must knock to request to join the meeting, unless they're on the calendar invite. That means that all your students, any administrators, any other staff members would need to ask to join the meeting and be admitted by you. When quick access is off, everyone will need to knock unless you invite them, either by adding them to the calendar invite if you created your Google Meet link in Google Calendar or by adding them here in the add people section. So, if I don't want to have to approve each of my students as they request to join, I could invite them here at the beginning of the meeting by clicking Add People and entering my students' names or email addresses. One way to make that faster is to have a doc ready with those email addresses where you can just copy and paste those into this field then click send email. Your students would not have to access their email to do this, but it will send them an email notification. And when they click on the link in Google Classroom, they will be brought right into your meeting without needing to ask to join. If quick access is off, only the host can dial out from within the meeting. That means that my students will not be able to add people by phone number. Only the host will have that ability. So I recommend that you turn quick access off and either admit students as they request to join or invite all of your students here in the add people tab. I hope this helps you secure your class meetings.